Okay, the question is, can you replace the 100 amp AGM battery that comes stock on a 2016 Road Trek Simplicity Motor Home with a lithium iron phosphate battery? Can you replace it easily and inexpensively? And the answer is yes and no. Here's what I did. I took out the battery is hanging under the carriage. This is the 105 amp AGM battery. That weighs probably about 70 or 80 pounds. It puts out 105 amps, but you really only get half of that. So you get about 50 amps of life out of it, an AGM battery. It also has a 800 cold cranking amps, which I think is the reason why the single AGM battery worked where my single lithium iron did not. And I'll explain that later. They also use very heavy cable. That's a 4 aught cable that Rotrek uses underneath the van. Show you inside. Why did I want to replace the battery was there just wasn't enough power. If I would run my refrigerator all night long and maybe the heater, in the morning the battery was just dead. I didn't have enough power left to run my microwave. So unless I started the engine or I started the generator or I was plugged into a park. So that's the reason why I wanted to go with more power. I got on the web, started looking at some of the road trek websites and asked the folks on there if this was possible to do. And most everyone came back saying it is possible, but you're better off just sticking with AGM. Go with the 200 amp AGM battery that would double the life. They said that maybe the alternator would not be able to charge lithium ions and maybe the inverter would not be able to charge the lithium ion. So stick with actually their lithium iron, not lithium ion. There's a difference. The irons are supposed to be safer. So anyway, I got looking on the web again and I found a company up in Reno, Nevada called Battleborn Batteries. And they make a drop in replacement. 100 amp, 12 volt, lithium iron phosphate battery. I sent them several emails and they were really good with their responses. They got right back to me. They answered my questions. They thought I should be able to just drop in a standard 12 volt replacement, one of their lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I ordered one and I installed it in the same little compartment here. The problem was that inverter the road track uses, I don't know about all of them, but it uses about 8 amps, 7.5, 7.4, just sitting there doing nothing, being stupid. By the time I added that to my microwave, when I ran the microwave, I'd end up with about 115 amps. The Battleborn battery is designed with a battery management system that it will give you 100 amps and it will surge up to 200 amps for 15, for 30 seconds. But you need more than 30 seconds to run your microwave if you're going to cook anything. You need two or three minutes. So the single battery just was not working for me. Called Battleborn again. Great people. They said that I could send back that battery and um, I could order two of the 100 amp batteries, which would give me 200 amps, which would solve that problem uh, with the microwave. And um, so I opted to go with that. And here they are. They fit just perfect into my little shoe compartment next to the inverter. I have to find a new place for the shoes. But that's easy enough. I wired them in parallel. Negative. One battery, negative to the other battery, positive from one battery, positive to the other battery. Then I took the positive going to the inverter through a 300 amp fuse. Originally it was 200 amps, but since I got two batteries now, I put in a 300 amp fuse. These batteries can surge up to 400 amps, but I doubt I'll ever surge that far, so I've got 300 amps. It's running right down into the inverter. And negative from the other battery running up and around into the inverter. Battleborn said to wire them that way, come off one battery with positive, one battery with the negative, so it balances the cells and the batteries. So that's what I did. I also 
put in this little gadget right here, which tells me what the capacity is of the battery and what the voltage is. This inverter the road truck uses. I sent Battleborn the specs, and they said that I can use the setting four, which is the sealed lead acid setting, would work perfect for their batteries. It was set on two. AGM I set it on four and it is working perfect it's charging the battery just fine this little gadget right here you won't have in yours probably that's an automatic transfer switch I put in because I was having problems when I ran the air conditioner since it was going through this inverter also draw on eight amps the air conditioner uh, on the generator uh, would just uh, not run you know, I have a 2700 watt powerhouse generator so I put in the transfer switch. I'm just bypassing that inverter totally and it works fine. The generator now runs through the transfer switch and right into the house wiring. I don't have a problem with that anymore. Uh, Battleborn suggests that you put the batteries inside um, because even though they have battery management system on them, if they get below freezing, you are not supposed to charge them. You can damage them, although they have that system is supposed to prevent you from doing that, but you would not be able to charge them below freezing. So that's why uh, I installed them inside here. And so far they're working great. Um, I, I've got 200 amps of power, which I doubt I'll ever need that much for what I'm doing, but I can run for several days now versus maybe just overnight with my other battery. And uh, if I opted to go with the AGM batteries, to get 200 amps of power, I'd have to have two of the 200 amp batteries, since I only get half. And a 200 amp AGM battery runs about 144 pounds. So I've got 288 pounds, and then I have to find some place and some way to hang them up underneath because they off gas, so they have to be outside of the coach whereas the lithium iron phosphates can be inside. Uh, lithium iron phosphate is a little different than lithium iron or lithium ion. Uh, these are a lot safer batteries from everything I've read and you don't have the problems that you have with the uh, explosions in the uh, original lithium ion batteries. I loved how they fit in the space. It was just perfect. question originally was can you replace them easily and inexpensively and the answer is yes you can do it easily it didn't take me that long to do it all inexpensively no these are a thousand dollars a piece there's two thousand dollars worth of batteries sitting right there but if you look at it over a lifespan I'd get 3,000 to 5,000 cycles out of these batteries the AGM batteries maybe 300 to 500 cycles um, over the lifespan of the batteries, which will probably take me 15 years down the road, uh, they'll work out way cheaper than if I kept replacing the AGM batteries. So far, I'm tickled with them. Sorry about the unprofessional of the video, but I'm not a professional. I just want you guys to see, uh, see that it can be done and it works. And I'll let you know down the road uh, how well it's worked. Thank you for watching.